Welcome to the Last Thing Thrifted Collab, where we take things that we've thrifted and repurpose them, upcycle them, and make them beautiful again. Let's get started. I have this old cutting board that I wanted to do up. It has a design cut into the top on this side. Of, it looks like a bowl with grapes and pineapples and all different kinds of fruits, strawberries down here. I don't know if that comes shows up on the thing, but on this side, it's just got some yuckies, needs to be cleaned and sanded. So I'm gonna do that. And then I think I'm gonna decoupage some paper on top for fall. So we're gonna decorate this up for that. I'm gonna use my mustard colored paint and I'm gonna put a coat just, just on the top of this. I'm gonna just go to the edge just do the top. Okay, so I have this paper. It's only half of a paper because the other half, it ripped on the corner and I used the other half on something else. So this one I'm going to use on here, but I need to put some Mod Podge on first. I add my Mod Podge onto my paper and then spritz my paper with a little bit of water to get it to lay down flat and then I just lay it down. When I get done, I'm going to sand down the edges to give them a jagged rough look and a worn look. After sanding the edges and making them look worn and distressed, I then took Mod Podge and did a seal coat over the top of it. And now I'm going to take some antique wax and go over just the edges and darken up all the mustard paint and the edges of the paper. Where I had sanded off, there was some white from the backing of the paper. And I like to add the antique wax to give it an aged look. And it just ages that mustard paint and I love the way it looks once it's on there and then wiped back. I have this really cute little crow that my friend had made me a few of them and I'm going to use one of these and I'm going to grubby him up. So I used a little spray bottle that I have some uh, grubby mix in, it's like a, a grubby tea coffee mix and I just sprayed it on there to get him wet a little bit and to give him that kind of vanilla coffee smell. And then I'm going to take my grubby mix, which is cinnamon and allspice and pie, pumpkin pie spice and some coffee, some instant coffee all mixed in, all kinds of good stuff. And I'm just going to take it and rub it into his uh, wet kind of fabric and let that sit for a few minutes. And then once I rubbed it in, then I just took some and sprinkled it around the top to kind of give him a just a, a grubby look and then I'm going to just set him aside and let him dry for a few minutes. I thought before I decorated the other side fully that I would show you the back side. The back side is beautiful. I didn't want to cover it with anything because it's just such beautiful paint. This is maple. It's a maple cutting board and it has some bits of bird's eye maple in it and those little eyeball swirls that you'll see near the near the side and it's a really beautiful piece of wood. So I wanted to enhance it using my fusion hemp oil which is food safe. So I thought I would use that on there. And if somebody got desperate and needed a cutting board, 
they could just flip it over and use this one because it would be all ready for them. Now I'm going to decorate the other side. I have a dab of hot glue near the top and I'm going to take some of my Sweet Annie that I have and I'm going to add that kind of going up to the handle and then I'll put another little bit going down towards the like the pumpkin on the piece and I'm just adding gluing those on and adding them as I go. This Sweet Annie smells so good and I love adding these to my primitive pieces. I'm gonna put my crow right in the middle, kind of in between the two little sprigs of Sweet Annie. So I'm just gonna finish up putting on with hot glue these pieces, and then I'll add my crow to the middle. I have this picture frame that I picked up at a yard sale. Love grows happy hearts. I love the frame. It's plastic, but it looks like wood. It's carved and it's got some 3D to it. So it looks like wood. Um, it's got screws holding the back in. So I'm gonna take those out and change out the picture inside. Okay, so see it's plastic, it was blue at some point and somebody painted it like a burgundy or a barn red type. I'm gonna use my Woodwick by Fusion and I'm gonna paint the frame. Even though I like the burgundy, it has some blue scratches and stuff coming through. So, and I don't think burgundy and blue go together very well. So, we're gonna Give it a different look. You can distress back some of this burgundy. I think that will look really pretty. Okay, Fusion Paint has a sealer in it. So I'm going to go in with some black wax just on a paper towel. Not a huge difference, but you can see I did this side with the wax and this side without. And it's gotten down in the cracks and crevices and stuff in there. All right, so I guess what we'll do is I will paint this and then let it dry and then decoupage on top of that. Maybe we'll do I'm gonna do this color. Because I want the black on the back. You're not gonna be able to see it because it'll be hanging, but. This will give it a dark and moody look. I'll dry this, do a second coat, and then I'll be able to decoupage that on. Okay, now I'm going to add Mod Podge to the backing. All the way out to the edges. Then I'm going to add my paper.
Once my Mod Podge was dry, I went over the edges with some sandpaper to get rid of the excess paper. And then I'm not going to Mod Podge or seal it in. It's going to be under glass in this frame, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Now I'm just going to put it together. have this tall piece of wood with a top on it and I want to decorate it up. I'm going to drill a hole in the top and put a candle in it and decorate that with some pit berries probably. But this front part I have a piece of wallpaper border that I cut off that I like the picture of and it fits up and down perfectly side to side it's a little bit long but I can sand that off but that's what I'm going to put on the front of this I think that's going to look really good so I'm going to mod podge it down it is self sticking paper but I find that it doesn't stick well to anything but walls and I want to make sure that it stays down so I'm going to just use Mod Podge. I wanted to tell you about all the fun creators on the Last Thing Thrifted collab. We have Shabby Meets Bling, Jody at Southern Seasons, Up All Night DIY, OK at Home DIY, Buffy Designs, and Tracy Vanover Design, Mischief and Mayhem. These are all going to be in a playlist that it's going to be linked down in my description and linked to the top of the comments. So make sure you check out that playlist. It's always fun to see the things that everyone flips, uh, thrifts and flips. So make sure you check out the playlist. They're all awesome creators, and I know you're going to enjoy every single repurposed, upcycled, and makeover project. Once I sand down my edges and get them all nice and smooth on both sides, I'm going to take my brush that has some antique wax on it from a previous project and I'm just going to go around the down the edges where when I sanded that paper off, it went down to the white of the paper. And I'm just going to give that an antique look. Just darken up those edges so they don't stick out so much. I found this cardboard candle holder in my stash. So I thought I would glue that to the top of my little uh, stand instead of drilling a hole down in there. And I got that all covered over with some Spanish moss to cover up that cardboard. So I made sure I had enough on there so you couldn't see it. Then I went along and took a few pieces of my pit berries out of a garland that I had. And I went along the outside of the candle holder with some of those pit berries to dress it up a little. My last little touch is going to be adding a grubby candle and a piece of my wired spring that I have. We found a bunch of these on our property and this is a broken one that I thought would look great and it fit perfect. I hope you enjoyed my projects today. Make sure to let me know down in the comments if you had a favorite and which one it was. Don't forget to check out this Last Thing Thrifted collab with all these wonderful creators. Link is down in the description. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell so that you know when my next upload is going to be. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.